Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and we are back with our entire toy haul of toys from the Goodwill outlet. I was looking for any Transformers when I was there. They didn't have one single Transformer toy at all, but we're going to show off everything we got. We got this kid. He might be from PJ Masks, for all I know. He's a new figure for me to review here on the channel. Why not? We got a DC's Robin that's just going to go with my Bat Cave. With my Batman. Why not? Because I don't have a Robin. For my Batman collection in a right scale. We got this interactive robot with a controller. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to definitely review him once I put some batteries in him, for sure. So I'm going to have to move the tripod in a little bit. This is pretty full with toys. We got this wind-up dinosaur, which is kind of cool. I'm in the random review of small... We're going to do a small pile and a big pile of reviews. So, go in the smalls, go in the smalls. We got Flick from Bugs Life, and yes, he is an action figure. So I got an action figure from Bugs Life. I remember that movie from when I was a kid. So yeah, definitely going to add him to my random Disney toys, for sure. Next, I got these little construction worker guys. I don't know anything about them. Construction worker and firefighter, I know nothing about these. But if you know, then please... Leave me a comment on who these guys are. I would sure appreciate it. And we got some Pokemon action figures. You know I like Pokemon. And these are some random series Pokemon. But they are kind of cool. And I like them. I can't remember which movies and series they come from. But they're definitely going to go on the anime review for next month. We got this WWE stuff. So yeah, we got some WWE to go with this wrestler. I found at the outlet. So we got some wrestlers. I've never picked up any wrestlers. But yeah, it's going in the random little review. We got this Jurassic World minifigure. We'll show what it goes off to in a minute. We got this Paw Patrol Rubble. I like Rubble because he's a little dog and he's got a construction vehicle. It's just so cool looking that they did that. Just going to put him off to the side with the other figures. Next, we got Jessie from Toy Story. And yes, she is missing her hat, but this is a little figure of my, one of my favorite Toy Story, toy, sorry, Toy Story favorites. Had to correct myself. Toy Story favorites, and it's Jesse. Good old Jesse. Next, we got some MLPs. Why not? I like some MLP figures. We got a Imaginex Buzz Lightyear, which we will review with the Imaginex playset, and I'll show what that goes off to. We got some Disney's Peter Pan stuff. This is the kid from that one show I forget the name of. And we got Captain Hook. I'll get you next time, Peter Pan. <laughs> I do a pretty good impression of Peter Pan, for sure. And we got this guy. And these are what these toys that existed when I was a kid. And they don't have any knees or elbows. But they were so fun in my childhood. I'm so glad to have two of these. Even the head moves on this. You can get some creepy faces. Oh, man, that is a cool alien robot. Just love it. Love it. We got Tinkerbell from Disney. And I've never had a Tinkerbell figure before. But she was just so cute, fairy, and I had to have her in my collection. We got this watermelon baby. Oh, that's just so cute. Gonna go in the random figure basket. We got this Monsters Inc. character. And he's got a clipboard and be like, 
Uh, who's up not next up? The scare on the scare board. Don't let the, uh, my eyes are up there. So don't let, let you fool me because my eyes are up here. I love doing some impressions to this stuff. And we got a G.I. Joe figure. So I got me another Joe. Yeah, for G.I. Joe. Definitely going to review him. And we got this figure of a Yeti. I couldn't help the monster voice. He looks like he used to take batteries, but he's broken. So he's a good figure. Definitely going to review him for sure. Got another one of these guys. I think it's Paw Patrol if I have to be correct. It might be Ryder. It might be some other guy from the show. If you know, then leave me a comment. Next, we got this Simba. Simba. I think the batteries are broken in this one. I have to replace the batteries in this. Otherwise, a cool-looking Lion King figure. Found a lot of action figures today. And it's our boy, Buzz Lightyear, to the rescue. And this is a different Buzz from the ones I own, and he's got the belt from Toy Story 2. Man, I love that. Going to have a lot of figures to review randomly. Got another 12-inch Marvel Spider-Man with a different color scheme from my original. So I picked him up. I love me some... Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. And we got a 12-inch spin from Frozen. He's definitely going on my Disney Frozen shelf, for sure. Next, I got another one of these Soldier Force tanks, which is definitely going to go on my Cobra as an assault vehicle. And then go, Cobra! Have some heavy armored tanks for my Cobra. But this green helicopter is going on my Cobra shelf. And then you'd be like having a Cobra helicopter shooting at Joe's. Be like, <laughs> with the machine gun. Cobra and junk. Next, we got this Animal Planet vehicle. And we got this dinosaur for our Jurassic World collection. I don't have this one. But it is pretty cool. I love that. Got another one of those safari guys, and he's blue, and he's got a vehicle. Why not? And the headlights light up. That's cool. You're a T-Rex. And the truck backs up. That is just cool. Definitely going on my Jurassic Park shelf, and I will review it. Next, we got this big horse. And it's everyone's favorite horse from the best movie from my childhood. It's Spirit. Get off of my back. And I love having some Spirit in my collection. He's going on my collection shelf. For sure. And I will try to review him. But he's a big item. Now we're going to show off our epic play sets. Oh, wait, we missed something. This was a brand new in-the-box Star Wars figure. Knights at PNC Park. And this is Obi-Wan knockoff sports player from May 4th, 2019. So this was, I'd have to say... Three years ago. So, yeah, this is an awesome mitten package figure. It's going to my Star Wars collection. But now let's show off our play sets. This is one I've been thinking I was going to get all this time. It's Pizza Planet. And, yeah, we got a Pizza Planet with our Buzz Lightyear. Welcome to Pizza Planet. And, yeah, I got a play set to go with my Toy Story. This guy can go right up in here. Buzz can go right up in there. 
wind up the claw. It's the claw. And the aliens say that in the Toy Story. The alien toys say that. I love some vintage Toy Story nostalgia here. Some retro vintage Toy Story nostalgia. And now for our next epic playset. Now this is one I've been needing a playset for my Jurassic Park. Here it is. Oh yeah, that is so cool. Now I have a base of operations for my Jurassic Park. Which is kind of cool. This ramp goes in and out. Got have them at the computer being like, do do do. Securing the dinosaurs, do do do. Scientist guy. And that's awesome. I will try to review that with my dinosaurs when I get a chance to. But this is so cool. And I'm so glad to have it. And we got tons more figures for you to see and sh see on this channel. But this is a big dog monster truck that I've been wanting in my collection for a long time. It's Grave Digger. Oh, yeah. And as you know, I love the Monster Truck Grave Digger, my favorite monster truck of all times. And I will try to review that, even though it's missing the controller. It's going to be fun. Stay tuned for that as well. Next, we got some more stuff to show off. We got some weapons. I'm going to get everything out. Weapons of epic awesomeness. Because I like to say awesome. Awesome. We got a Halo Master Chief mask. Long live the chief, as the saying goes. Next on the list, we got a Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Sword for what is right together, ninja spin. That day on night together, ninja spin. And we got the Battle Morpher from Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Oh, yeah. And we got a Power Star in it, and it's the Gold Ranger Power Star. Awesome. Next, we got this Minecraft potion that lights up. Oh, man, that is cool. I love that. My favorite Minecraft novelty. And we still haven't shown everything off. Everything else is off yet. We got this. Another Black Panther claw. So we can go shush, slash. All I need is a Black Panther mask to go with these claws. And I could cosplay as Black Panther himself. Oh, yeah. We got this Halo Covenant Blade, so you can slash some Spartans with that. Oh, that is so cool. And I'm so glad to have this in my collection. I'm definitely going to try to find a place for that. That is just awesome. But next, so I have the Captain America mask. I did not have a shield, but now I do. So next Halloween, I will try to cosplay as Captain America. And maybe I'll do a review of the mask and this shield while I'm wearing it. And you'll be like, oh, that's awesome, right? Hopefully you all think that's awesome, right? That's what I call awesome. But now we got some plushes to show off. That's the last bit of toys we got from the Goody Will. Oh, Goody Will. But I didn't find any Transformers, of all things. I didn't find was no Transformers. So after I saved 50 bucks, I ordered 50 bucks worth of Transformers to come in the mail. So we will have some more Transformers to review. But we got a Pikachu backpack plush. I love Pikachu so much that I picked this up. Huge Pikachu enthusiast. I loved Pikachu as a child. My favorite Pokemon from the original Pokemon. Next, we got the Mega Evolved Charizard. Rawr! 
and that's just so cool. Captain America plush with a shield and be like, take this, Red Skull. Yeah. Love that. We got Stitch in his alien uniform. You're like, yeah, I'm on a crease, yay, and I'll get you. Got a DreamWorks dragon plush. I love some dragon plushes. And last but not least, we got two more items, and then we're done with our entire toy haul. We found a Sonic the Hedgehog Tails plush. I love that. And finally, a Minecraft Creeper Head plush that I will be using as a pillow in my bed. That is so awesome! And I was so glad to find something like that. And you're probably wondering, how much did I pay for all of this? I paid 50 bucks for all this toy glory! And if you were able to find this stuff in other thrift stores, best of luck. But I got all my stuff for an incredible deal. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.